Assalamu alaikum everyone. I bet you've seen the title and thumbnail. We are talking about a bow, specifically a bow and arrow, and why they are fast. See, bows are arrows are very fast. They can traverse a very long distance and they go up to 150 miles per hour. That's like 240 kilometers per hour. But why is that? Why do they move that fast? Or why do they move at all? Like I get it, you pull it with your, onto your bow and then you release it, but why does that release make the bow move? Well, for all these questions, we are going to be ha discussing kinetic energy and potential energy. So first of all, what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy that is produced by virtue of an object's motion. So for example, if I'm running or someone is walking or a ball is rolling or a car is moving, all of these things have kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, which is mass velocity squared. Now, with this equation, we can actually derive the work energy theorem, which is this way. First of all, remember the equation F is equals to ma, and the equation work is equals to fd. We can see here that F can be can be broken into m times a. So we can change the work equation to work is equals to mad. Now, ad is something we see in one of our kinematic equations, which is this one. Velocity final squared is equals to velocity initial squared plus 2ad. So we isolate the AD term, then we replace, and in the end, we get work is equal to change in kinetic energy. This means that the, if a force is applied to a system, the work that is done by a system will be equal to the change in kinetic energy. Now let's get to potential energy. Potential energy is an energy that is stored due to some kind of action so for example suppose i have this pen now this pen i have lifted by some height which we can find out because i'm in the second floor and we can just measure the height here so i've lifted this by some height that means that this pen has gravitational potential energy if I had a spring and I would stretch that spring, then it would have elastic potential energy. There's also chemical potential energy and all other kinds of potential energies. Now, potential energy you can kind of visualize by energy, by location. Kinetic energy you can understand as energy by velocity or motion. So as for the bow and arrow answer, we can, we can use our concept of kinetic energy and potential energy to this problem. So you are pulling the string of the bow backward, which is attached to the arrow. That's creating elastic potential energy. And when you release that bow, it creates kinetic energy because the, well, the string just shifts back into place, which pushes the arrow, making the arrow very fast. Now, as for why it goes such a large distance and why is it so fast, we have to look at aerodynamics, and aerodynamics include air friction, and that will be coming in our future video. So if you want to know more about friction, then check out my previous video on which I'll be linking in the card right here. So that's all there is to it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.